Okay, so this is Chris again, and the uh, purpose of this video is going to be to demonstrate an example of working out the steps for subnetting that we go through in my class. Um, is a good refresher for people. I'm going to move through this kind of quickly, but you can watch it as many times as you need to. We've already covered the material if you've been in my class, so you should have somewhat of a foundation. But here we go. Uh, so we're going to start out with a IP address of we'll say 131.107.0.1 just to keep it simple and up the font a little bit there for you and a cider cedar cider whatever you want to call it of slash 22 okay now um, that being the case, the first thing we're going to work out on this is to figure out what the subnet mask would be if that was the address you were working with. Now, to do that, the, the key is to make your subnet mask match up with your CIDR here, which is a 22. And we know that in binary, 255 equals 8 binary 1. So you want to start out by plugging as many 255s in until you can't plug any more in. And then you're going to use the chart. So here we go. The, the first octet is going to be 255, which that gives you a total of eight ones so far in binary. Uh, you got to get to 22. Then you can plug another 255, which gives you in another eight bits, and that gives you 16 bits so far. So you're at 16. You can't plug another 255 in because that would go over the 22. So it kind of brings us to that point there of 255.255 so 8 bits plus 8 bits is 16 but we gotta get to 22 so if we have 16 bits the difference between 16 and 22 is 6 right 22 minus 16 is 6 so you're gonna come to the top of the chart labeled subnet mask and you're gonna count over 6 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 which is 252. That's going to be your very next number. And anytime you have anything left over, you're going to put zero. All right. Space this out a little bit more. There we go. So that's going to be the subnet mask uh, if we had a slash 22. Now keep in mind that sometimes you may have to do this the opposite way if you didn't know what the cider was, for example. So let's say we don't. Let's delete the cider and to figure the cider out from a subnet mask all you gotta do is figure out how many ones which are network bits in binary the subnet mask is equal to so we know that 255 is worth eight ones in binary so that first 255 is eight and then the next 255 is eight and you may not know how many ones 252 is off the top of your head but you can use the chart up here to, to figure that out real easy 252 is worth one two, three, four, five, six ones. So we'll put a six underneath that. And obviously zero is worth zero ones, right? So we'll put a zero there. Okay, so add them up. Eight plus eight is 16, plus six is 22. So your cider is going to be slash 22. And that is how you do the op do it the opposite way. You do it in reverse. So the next question is, how many subnets can we have using this example? The way you figure the subnets out is to look at the magic number. Now the magic number is this guy right here. It's the number that most of the time is not 255. Most of the time is not zero. And it's, it's often the weird looking one if there is one. So 252 is your magic number. So look at the magic number. Come up to the chart. 252 come down to the middle our, our number of subnets is 64 so using this example we could have a grand total move this guy over a little we could have a grand total of 64 subnets and this again is working with class classful environment and the next question is how many hosts per subnet, that's how many IP addresses we would have on each one of those uh, 64 subnets. So to do that, the easy way, uh, in my opinion, to do it, or the way I demonstrate in class, is to, um, if 22 is equal to the network bits, put a 
32 above that. There are 32 total bits in TCP IP4 to work with. So then all you got to do is a little math problem. Just subtract it. 32 minus 22 is 10. So we will put a 10 there. And then the next step is to work a formula out. The formula for working out the number of hosts per subnet is 2 to the power of H. Some people say N, whatever floats your boat. Minus 2 equals. Okay, so 2 to the power of H, and you could say in there if that's what you want, you can. So 10 is the H, 2 to the power of 10, that's 10 host bits, 10 zeros in binary. Uh, now you can bring your calculator up for that. And make sure, because some of you might start out in normal mode or standard, switch it to scientific mode, and you're going to click 2 XY. 10 minus 2 equals and you get 1022 hosts per subnet so 1022 hosts per subnet which is way more than you normally put on a subnet but the point is to show you the math here so 64 subnets 1022 hosts per subnet so each subnet would have its own set of addresses let me clean, clean the screen up a little bit here. The next thing to do is to figure out what your subnet ranges are. So you find you have 64 subnets, 1,022 hosts per subnet, but what's the ranges? So the ranges are the subnets themselves. So the trick there is to figure out what numbers are set in stone. Now I call I just say set in stone, that's Chris lingo for you, but it's what numbers will always be the same. Anything with a 255 underneath it is going to stay the same. So a 131 has a 255, so does a 107. So you want to pay attention to those. So we're going to go the very first possible range here is 131, 107.0.1. Now remember, you can't use the very, very first possible combination ever, which would have been 0.0 because .0, that's, that's the network address. Um, and you're not supposed to use the very last, so that's the beginning. Now to find the ending. Now the trick to this is you're going to start out with the numbers that are set in stone, 131, 107, but now you have to know what your range increment is going to be. Your range increment is the incremental value the subnets are going to be divided by. To figure that out, look at the magic number again. 252 is your magic number. Come up here to the top come all the way down to the bottom where it says range increment you're moving in increments of four so we're gonna put a four there Let me back up a little hold on there we go we're gonna put a well we're not gonna put a four there actually I'm sorry we start with zero so you're gonna end with three and if you count on your fingers zero one two three you're gonna find that's actually four numbers so since we start with 0, we end, we end with 3. So 3.254. You can't end with 255 because you can't use, you're not supposed to use the very last possible combination. The very first, very last, which is why you do the minus 2 over here. So I'm going to hit enter there. And that is going to be subnet number 1. Subnet number 1. Okay. Subnet number 2 would be 131107. We ended the three, so four dot one. Through one thirty one one oh seven seven dot two fifty four. Do it on your fingers, four, five, six, seven, that's four numbers. Move it in increments of four. Alright, that is going to be subnet number two. Subnet number three is going to be 131, 8.1 because you ended all the sevens. Not doing too good at lining my stuff up here. Um, through 131, 11.254. And that is going to be 
subnet number three. And of course, there are, as I said a second ago, a total of 64 subnets. So you could do this 64 total times. All right, I hope this helps. Uh, you guys uh, probably create another one of these. Um, remember to keep watch for any updates I have for you on twitter.com slash instructor Chris and uh, youtube.com slash instructor Chris one two three and stay tuned for more